Hey guys, we are on our way to Dallas. Getting some baseline values done for a performance and I'm super excited to share the whole process with you. I wanna share my values with you. We're gonna do our VO2 max testing as well as our lactate threshold and we're gonna be doing the treadmill test. Some rules we have to follow. We can't have intense exercise previous 24 hours. Um, prior to testing, we can't um, have t food 12 hours prior to testing or any liquids, I believe four hours before testing. Caffeine. Caffeine. And a number of things on, you know, that we have to like abide by to have like really good readout. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys and the whole process and let's see what my values are. Let's see if it like really falls in line with Garmin. I've seen previous videos on YouTube where it's like a margin of error, like a plus or minus three. Um, usually Garmin's like, uh, plus three on average from what I've seen, but we'll see. We'll see what mine looks like. I feel like I'm still pretty fatigued from my birthday miles and my birthday training. Um, so hopefully that it, that does not interfere with my testing and my results. But either way, I'm super excited. So catch you on the boat. Peace. Today is the day we are getting our VO2 te tests and lactate. Good results. Right, Chewy? Good results! Lubricant. And we all got dreams. We all want things. But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe you can do anything? <laughs> How was it? 0.3 For the lactate? Yeah, that was higher than yours <laughs> <laughs> You pushed harder than me <laughs> How was Yeah, it? I have more blood oh. guts and glory than you <laughs> Yeah, I'm washing the hands and... Okay That's, that's good That's real, that's... 34 34? Yeah. yeah Probably put you like in a superior category for your age group. Okay. I'll, I'll have to look at the data. And yeah. Stuff. But, well, uh, honestly, just wanted to see where I was. I'm also within a margin of error Garmin. So I want to see, like, are we, is it accurate? Can right. like following these things? The, the Garmin PO2 is from an algorithm. Yeah. So it's a model. If the model fits you, uh -huh. then it's, it's good. It's yeah. Accurate. The issue is, you don't know if the model fits. Yeah. yeah. Because there's right. so many other variables, right. yeah. So I have seen people come in and, you know, Garmin says their VO2 is like 70 or something, and I test them in their 50s. Oh, right. wow. So it's like Ego. Way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Garmin says 43, so honestly, I'm actually pretty happy. It's that pretty close. actually is probably pretty accurate. Yeah, okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, thank think, you very much. Would you say yours was? Uh, 63. Yeah, it's probably low. Sweet. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, sorry if we bled on your <laughs> equipment. What is up, you guys? You can see from my video, we went to Sport Speed Lab in Dallas, Texas, and we got our VO2 max uh, tested as well as our lactate threshold using the treadmill test. And this was conducted by Tommy Johnson. He was an absolutely phenomenal individual to work with. So if you're ever interested in doing these tests on your own or you're in the Texas area, please by all means check that place out. It was such an awesome experience. What is VO2 max? So VO2 max, V for volume, O2 for oxygen, and max is the maximum amount of oxygen you can take up. Put that all together, we are looking at the maximum rate of oxygen that you can take up from the external environment during an all out exercise. This is typically done using a treadmill incremental test as well as a cycle ergometer. So the concept that there is a finite amount of oxygen that can be taken up from the external environment into our body and into our mitochondria to generate ATP, which is the fuel source needed to do a physical activity was first coined by A.V. Hill in 1923. And since then, VO2 max has been an indicator of exercise performance as well as a marker for population-based fitness and cardiovascular disease. Why do we care about the amount of oxygen that is taken up into our body? And that's because oxygen is required to burn fuel sources such as glucose, fatty acids, and amino acids. Highly important discussing endurance sports. 
Although uh, glucose is the preferred fuel source from many cell types in our body, fatty acids are actually the primary fuel source at rest and at mild intense exercise of skeletal muscle as well as cardiac muscle. But why is this so important? Especially for endurance athletes, when we are trying to build a very high aerobic capacity. Imagine one molecule of fat can generate twice the amount of ATP versus one molecule of glucose. And that's super important and you want to be able to run over long of time. You want to have the most bang for your buck. You want the most energy output. That's really important when you start to slow down. And that's where zone two training comes in. Burning fat at rest and at mild intensity exercise. Also wanted to see if my VO2 max aligned or did not align with the lab testing results. See here, VO2 max from Garmin was estimated around 44. Uh, lab results indicated that my VO2 max was 43.3. Garmin aligned very nicely with the lab testing, which was very, very exciting news to me. Confidence in relying values that Garmin was generating for me. So it's a very good indicator of my physical fitness and basically learning my physiology quite well. I'd like to thank Sports Speed Lab again. If you're interested, check them out. If you're interested in learning about more zone two training, a fat to a carb ratio in different zone intensity, from rest to walking to incremental increases in intensity. I'm checking next week. If you're interested in learning what those values are and more about zone two training and aerobic capacity, check in next week in my next video. And happy training. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing.